Well, welcome back 913 right now. Yesterday's series of deadly crashes on I-95 left the road in disrepair for hours. First responders bravely answered the call. They rushed to the scene, tried to get everybody that was trapped out of that 18 mile stretch of devastation. Officials called it a mass casualty incident because there were so many separate crashes. And joining us right now to talk about how you respond to something like that is Seminole County Fire Battalion Chief Charles and Wally. Great to see you. How are you? Good morning, Amy. Thank you for having me on. Listen, you guys had something like this not too long ago out on the 417 where you had a number of vehicles you had to bring out, you know, a huge response bus uh, that you guys used as sort of an ambulance for, for this. So this is not something that you guys are uh, immune to yourselves. No, not at all. You're exactly right. We did have an incident on the 417 back some time ago where we had a similar um, pile up with multiple vehicles and we utilized a tool that we have here called the AMBU bus with Seminole County. We were able to transport patients in that bus to a safe location off of the scene or away from the scene and get them off of the highway. We had uh, fuel on the highway and um, you know vehicles spread all up and down about a quarter to a half mile of the highway there. And that gave us a safe place to be able to bring these people and uh, organize them and get them set up so that the police officers could interview them and we could transport them to the necessary facilities. One of the scary things yesterday about this crash, obviously you had this issue with the super fog, right? And we talked to Kim Montez. She said she couldn't see her own hand in front of her face because it was so thick. When you get into a situation like that, how difficult is it for you to actually find the victims? Well, we start off utilizing a triage program and the first units on scene after we've set up some scene safety, then we start our triage process where we try to go through and decide who is uh, who needs to go to the hospital first and the actions that we need to take. When you guys do training for, for stuff like this, how do you go about doing that training? I imagine it's really sort of all hands on deck. That is correct, and we have multi-agency training. We involve all the different um, jurisdictions within the county, and we put together training and um, get prepared for this every single year. How do you go about assessing the scene as well to not cause additional accidents? Because in what we saw yesterday, obviously we see that you know what we have are those chain reaction crashes, right? I imagine as a first responder, you're always worried that the cars coming don't know what is happening. That is correct. You have the initial accident, then sometimes you have something called a secondary accident, and that's where the pileups start. So initially, when we arrive on scene, our first goal is to uh, set up scene safety. We utilize our fire trucks and we block the highway and we position them to kind of divert people away from us to create a safe scene. You know, um, it's there's been a rise in um, deaths of public safety officers, fire and police ambulance drivers, um, tow truck drivers, road rangers uh, involved in these kind of accidents where they are also get involved in accident and get injured as well. So there's been a rise of that. So we, we take a lot of effort to try and make sure that we um, put together all these safety precautions by blocking and getting prepared. And then we start the triage process. Yeah, it, it, what you guys do really is nothing short of just being heroic. We so appreciate you. Seminole County Fire Battalion Chief Charles and Wally, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. And thanks for what you do every day. Thank you, Amy.